It is very easy to find the reasons why I should not draw today. It is frustrating in a way. I hadn't drawn for a few weeks and I had been looking for something to ease me back into, into the groove of things. I knew I wanted it to be humor related or figure drawing related at least because that's where my sketchbook was at the time. I had started to deal with figures so I wanted it to be within that realm and I couldn't bring myself to do it. I was until, until let me say, I, I have this Chinese book at home that I've been using for the past few weeks and I was flipping through the pages and I came across these humanoid robots from the future type of thing. They remind me of Grievous actually. Grievous from Star Wars in a way, like a lost distant family member in a, in a different galaxy. Anyway, so these, these biped exoskeletal structures that move, that, that seemed to be as far as my criteria went, to be honest. <laughs> these are good enough, this will do. And the thing is, I was not aware of this at the time, but the reason why they appeal to me so much was that I, I, they seem human and having to study them is going to expose me again to, well, having to deal with proportions and volume and, and three in a, and a 3d space, but they aren't exactly human. And so that means that I have some leeway to screw up, meaning I have seen thousands of people in my life. I see them everywhere. They're too often for my liking, <laughs> probably. But I know, because I've seen them, they've, they've been a part of my life now for, for my entire life. I know I'm going to be able to tell when a drawing of a person looks off. Even most people can, regardless of whether you're an artist. You don't even need to be an artist to be able to say, yeah, there's something not right there. I know even if I don't have the technical knowledge yet to be able to solve that pose, or to fix it and to come up with a solution I know I'm still going to I'm, I'm gonna know this looks off this is not right and it's going to be bothering me like a like a like a kid tugging at your sleeve telling you hey hey <laughs> listen to me I'm not right I'm not right and I know you're not right but I don't know how to fix you so however because these robots, they don't look like anything else, there's no pressure for me to have them resemble anything else because they already don't look like anything else. It's pretty, it's pretty self-explanatory. There's no resemblance that I need to, that my drawing needs to match. And this frees me up to actually get started. I have been thinking if, <clears throat> I have also been thinking if I'm shooting myself in the foot by allowing me to not have to be too exact with my proportions and having this, this much leeway. My joints can twist in, in ways that maybe a human joint would not be capable of. And maybe this is going to come back and bite me at some point later down the line. I don't know. In any case, I'm planning to have this face be brief. I'm, I'm only using this as a tool to get back into drawing, that's all.